For 25 years, Vehicles for Change has been changing lives in our area, whether through donating cars or helping some trade jail for jobs. The organization has helped return respect and independence to so many. Joining us today is Vehicles for Change President Marty Schwartz. Thanks for coming in, Marty. Absolutely. We Thanks really for the appreciate invite. It. So how did this all start? Yeah, so back in 1999, um, there was an organization called Precision Serta Pro, it was an auto parts distributor, and they were really trying to build a nonprofit within their organization to give back to the community. And to be honest with you, we kind of crossed paths. Uh, I was looking for something to do, and we had a conversation, and uh, Vehicles for Change kind of launched right out of that conversation. So how does it work? Describe so it. we take donated cars, but then we repair those cars, and we work with agencies throughout Maryland that work with individuals, whether it's a domestic violence or a job training or a rehabilitation program, that need a car to get to and from employment. And we sell them a car for $950. We provide them with a 12-month loan through Sandy Spring Bank, so they establish credit while they're paying for their oh, car. Wow. And they get a six-month, 6,000-mile warranty. So we make sure that we, the car stays on the road while they're getting back on their feet. And then in 2016, we launched the Full Circle Auto Repair and Training Center where we train individuals, most coming out of incarceration, to be auto mechanics. So they work oh, wow. on the cars, they train to be mechanics, and then once they go through our program, we put them into employment. So it's on both ends, people are getting a lot out of Absolutely. this. Absolutely. That's really cool. So what kind of cars will you take? Will you take anything? What are the, yeah. what are the barriers? So car donations are really hard to come by today because the car market kind of got turned upside down mm -hmm. after COVID. So we used to get 200 cars a month donated. We used to help four to 500 families a year. Last year we did 70. Oh, so wow. we take anything because those older cars that we can't use, we sell at auctions or on our used car lot or whatever that generates money to fix the cars. Right. And then the good cars, we actually then repair and award to a family. Right. Why only 70 last time? Just because so many cars just were, we just didn't get any cars. Okay. I mean, we just People were not get giving good up cars. their cars. Correct. Right. Wow. Yeah, it's been really difficult. So we're excited about the. It's starting to come back a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, our waiting list is is getting longer, um, and and over the last couple of years, more and more people have gone into poverty, and so, yeah. and without a car. You can't really escape generational poverty. No, I mean, you it's cannot. really difficult. I mean, it is very difficult to get around yeah. when you're talking about employment. Um, you know, a lot of people, you know, can take a bus, but then that's not always reliable. Correct. Uh, you might be late, and then, you know, you might get in trouble in your work. So it, it, there are a lot of barriers if you Absolutely. do not have a vehicle. And then to throw on top of that, most of the folks who get cars from us are single moms with two or three children. Yeah. Well, those children, you can't get to daycare. You can't get to after school. You can't get to sports and recreation activities without a car. And I was a coach for 40 years, and so all my players came by ride. Nobody walked to practice, right. so it really is difficult. And so it gives the children opportunities that they would never have before. Right. It brings the whole it's family unit closer. That way, I mean, yeah. we actually say that by providing a car, we give them access to life itself. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So somebody out there hearing this, and they're like, well, I have this old car. I don't... I don't really need it anymore. What, what can they do? And they can, they can yeah. write this off too. Correct? Absolutely. It's a great tax deduction. Yeah. Um, actually, by, if you give us a car that goes to a family, you get to deduct the highest possible tax deduction, which is the fair market value. So if you do have a car, vehiclesforchange.org, you can go on there. We have a form. You fill out the form. It comes right to me. We process it. Your car will be gone in a couple days. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Marty. Thank this you. has been really fun. Appreciate the time. Okay. And that's all for this edition of 11 TV Hill. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.